Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely Monday morning. So today I'd like to follow up on a video that I did two years ago that was downvoted into absolute oblivion, which is very unpopular, talking about Apple not including a charger with a $1,000 phone. The reason that they were not including the charger is because they figured, well, at this point in time, who doesn't have a charger for an iPhone? Who doesn't have a charger for an Android phone? I have at least five or ten of these things in my apartment that I've just collected over the years from various used and new phones that I've purchased, so I don't necessarily need one with my new purchase. They were talking about how this is technically better for the environment that they're not sending you a charger. And technically, it is better for the environment that they're not doing that. However, we both know that the real reason for this is not about environmental impact, it's about them saving money. If this was truly about the environment, they would be discounting the phone because they were including less with it than they did before. Instead, the price of a phone goes up year after year, and what you're actually getting inside the phone seems to go down year after year. I think if this company actually cared about the environment, they would do things like tell Intersil they can sell me ISL 9240s rather than force me to buy an iPhone XR charging case every time I need to fix your computer, rip it apart to pieces, throw away the lithium-ion battery, harvest the charging chip, and put it into your laptop. We both know that when companies do these things, it's not about saving the environment, it's about money. But when it comes to something like a smartphone, at least the argument can be made, well, everybody at this point has a smartphone charger. Who doesn't have a smartphone charger? Even if I may not necessarily agree with not including it in the box and not discounting the product when you do that. What's really interesting is to see other companies start doing the same thing. One of the things I talk about on this channel is when one company gets away with something, it tends to be every other company starts doing the same thing. So let's take a look at what Tesla's doing, a company that sells $50,000 vehicles. They are no longer going to be including the charge cable <laughs> with the car. This is the charge cable over here. It's called a mobile connector. So you have one end that's gonna plug into a wall outlet and the other end that plugs into your electric vehicle, which in the case of Tesla, uses a proprietary plug. So it's unlikely that you're gonna have another one laying around the same way that you would a cell phone charger after 13 years of them all having pretty much the same USB port on them. Now, it says here on Twitter, this is funny, usage statistics were super low, so it seemed wasteful, says Elon Musk. On the minor plus side, we'll be including more plug adapters with the mobile connector kit, which, by the way, you purchase separately. Usage statistics were super low, which is really interesting to see from somebody that once tweeted out 69.420% of statistics are false. And there are many people responding to this saying, you know, gee, I, I, I'd really like to get a charge cable included with my car. I use it, and hey, even if I don't use it all the time, you know, if I'm traveling or I'm going to an Airbnb someplace, it would be really nice to actually have a charge cable included with my car. That costs about $9,000 more this year than it did last year. I remember, Pepperidge Farm remembers last year, March or April, when you can get a Model 3 long range for about forty six dollars to $48,000. And now if you just put the normal wheels on, normal interior, you are looking at, oh my, $55,000. So it's not like the vehicle is becoming cheaper when they're not giving you the charge cable. The vehicle's literally going up in price, up in price, up in price, which is, to be clear, understandable. Supply chain difficulties, difficulties getting access to everything that you need to make the car. But like, again, it's a damn near $60,000 car. You can't include the charge cable. Now, I, I know what people are gonna say. You can still charge a supercharger. You can still charge at a normal electric vehicle charging station. And you can still get a wall connector installed in your house. Why don't you just get a wall connector installed in your house? Why don't you pay an electrician to install this thing in your house? Why? I mean, truly, why? I mean, I charge an electric vehicle in my apartment using a 1030 outlet that's on the side of the building. I mean, there's a lot of old, you know, houses and apartments that have an outlet on the side of the building or have a 220 volt outlet in the garage already. And instead of having to pay 500 or a thousand bucks to install this fancy schmancy wall connector thing, you can just have this charging cable that's included with the vehicle and then go over here and spend 45 bucks on an adapter. So here, like I could spend $45 on a 1030 adapter, and then I can use a pre-existing outlet to get 22 miles an hour, up to sometimes up to 25, which honestly is really not that bad. That allows you to charge overnight and wake up to a full charge the next day and be totally fine. But now, in order to do that, you have to spend an additional like $200 to buy this thing. I think this is going to become more and more of a trend. Like, you know, oh, you want the charging cable to the device that you just bought. Oh, you want the charger to it. You got to pay extra. Which, again, is one thing if you're talking about a cell phone where every Tom, Dick, and Harry on planet Earth has one, even if it's not a fast charging brick. Everybody has a charging brick somewhere. How many people have a proprietary charging cable to 
a new electric car. Probably very few people already have a charging cable from their last Tesla because a lot of people buying them are new car owners. I think this kind of stuff is going to come off as nickel and diming. And in my opinion, I think that they would be better off increasing the price of the product by $200 and then continuing to include it rather than not including the charge cable with the vehicle. Because again, this car has gone up almost $10,000 over the past year. And again, I understand why the cost of the car has gone up almost $10,000 over the past year because of supply chain issues, of difficulty getting you know, lithium, nickel, and everything else they need to put in the vehicle. I, like, most people are going to understand that. But when you start doing stuff like, oh, you want the charge cable to the vehicle that you just bought $50,000, that's an add-on, it just starts to feel a little bit like nickeling and diming. It's kind of like the consumer psychology when it comes to shipping. You know, $100 for the item and $75 for shipping is a ripoff. But $200 in free shipping is a deal. It's just part of the way human psychology works when it comes to buying stuff online or buying stuff in general. And I, I don't think that this is going to be the, the best way. to. Anytime somebody says, by the way, we're not going to decrease the cost of the product, but we're going to include less stuff with it because statistics show that you don't use it, I kind of raise an eyebrow. I'd like to see those statistics. I'd like to see where you're getting them from. I, a lot of people seem to be aggravated at this. And again, I understand it. And I kind of wonder... Is this going to be something that becomes more and more standard with a wider range of products as time goes on, as supply chain issues continue, as inflation continues to spiral out of control, and as more companies seek to cut corners everywhere humanly possible in the interest of making a buck? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think this is a good thing? Do you think this is a bad thing? Do you think people should just stop bitching and get a wall connector installed instead of using the totally fine 1450 or 1430 or 1030 outlet on the side of their house or in their garage. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.